Hey guys, this is Max and today Jules and I will try something completely new, which we will call Analog Insights. And in this new series, we take a closer look at all sorts of analog development processes, um, different formats like going large format and also different kinds of photography. So not just focusing on portrait photography, but also, for example, on landscape and architecture. And the main motivation for me was um, at some point I want to do a portrait series using the Linhoff Technica that Jules owns, a large format camera. And in order to do that with a good consciousness, so to speak, I wanted to learn that first and use the camera first. Some of you might have noticed in the other video that we recently published, I used this camera for the very first time, having two models present, and that was kind of tricky, and I don't want to repeat that in that particular fashion. So today we really want to focus on learning that camera and using a building uh, some architecture as a nice backdrop. So um, for today we went all the way out to Regensburg, uh, to the Valhalla, which is a very famous uh, hall of fame here in Germany that features all sorts of politicians, scientists and artists. And that was built um, between 1830 and 1842 by the architect Leo von Klenze. So today we will primarily shoot um, with the Linhoff Technica 3, a uh, large format camera that Jules owns. Uh, shooting Ilford HP5 and we also brought a Hasselblad 501 um, with which we also will use primarily um, black and white film, the Rolei Orto and um, some Kodak Tri-X to go along with that. The weather is pretty nice for our intentions here. Um, <laughs> we do have some clouds, we do have uh, some little sun coming through here and there but overall we have a pretty nice sky that should look great on black and white film. So without further ado, uh, let's take a closer look at the equipment. So as I just mentioned, today is in many ways some kind of a test shoot. And for that reason, I also brought or we brought a Jules um, Hasselblad 501 uh, that I want to get more familiar with. And um, we brought it with an 80 millimeter uh, planar lens um, that is supposedly just amazing. And uh, overall, one can say this camera is in great condition. So <laughs> I'm really looking forward to shooting this one. And in addition, as basics, of course, uh, we brought a Gossen Starlight 2 uh, light meter uh, to make sure that we get our exposure right, especially for the large format camera. And now let's take a closer look at the Linhoff Technica 3. <laughs> And of course, most importantly, what we also brought is the Linhoff Technica 3. And uh, I will briefly show you how to set it up, uh, which I, of course, also just learned. <laughs> um, first of all, you have to open up the camera and um, pull out the bellow. More or less like this. And then you take the lens plate, including the lens, um, remove the cap on the back. and put the lens plate in here, being kind of careful about this process. And then that's basically it. Your camera is set up. You can open up the lens cap and you're basically ready to start. So as you can see here in the background, this is the scene that we're about to shoot. And we have quite some dynamic range going on. We have a lot of dark shadows behind the columns. And of course we have um, quite some light coming from the landscape outside. And we just measured the light, we measured our exposure uh, using the light meter and um, we decided okay to go for like a medium <laughs> measurement um, in between those two spots that we metered. Um, the first one was going for the column itself, the really dark shadowy part of that and then of course going outside and picking a white cloud somewhere there. And what we found is okay if we close down our aperture to 22 um, we should be able to shoot with a sixtieth of a second. Um, rating our film, our 400 Ilford HP5 film at 320 ISO. So in order to focus such a large format camera, what you do is um, you set your aperture 
to wide open. Uh, in this case, on this um, Schneider Kreuznach 150 millimeter lens, it would be a aperture of 5.6, so all the way here. And then what you do is you um, cock the shutter and um, set it, of course, to not the bulb mode, but the T mode, which really stands for it remains open as long as you want it to. And then you press the shutter, it opens up, and you can start focusing on the back through the ground glass. So I now just uh, focus the camera. Uh, in this particular case, I tried to focus on the columns that you can see here in the foreground. And uh, usually you focus using uh, some piece of cloth that ensures that you can actually see the ground glass and uh, get a good idea of how the image will look like. And in addition to that, what we learned last time, it makes sense to um, bring along a magnifying lens or a magnifying glass like this one to really ensure that your focus is where you want it to be. Okay, so now we're about to load our Ilford HP5 sheet film, a 4x5 um, film, um, into the camera. Um, it is usually rated at ISO 400, and we decided for this situation, let's rate it for ISO 320 uh, to give it a little bit of leeway, so to speak. And usually what we have here um, in this kind of um, sheet film holder, you always have uh, two um, films. Uh, two sheets of film that you have to load uh, completely in the dark <laughs> um, prior to your shoot um, or you just uh, bring along a little bag um, uh, that is completely dark where you can also exchange the um, magazine. So now I'm putting the film holder um, into the camera itself after doing all the settings on the lens. Um, and this looks like this. You can actually hear it once it's in there. Um, now we're good to go. So we just decided to take two shots now. As you know, the sheet holder, um, the film holder offers two sheets of film. So we will take one shot using an aperture of 22 and then go a little bit darker just to make sure that we don't overexpose our shot. And now we'll take the first shot. We then switched location and Jules took over with the Linhof. He took an image down the other passageway um, with its alignment of columns on the right side. Again, focusing first, um, measuring the light and setting up the lens accordingly. Putting in the film holder, removing the dark slide, and then finally taking the shot and of course, most importantly, putting the dark slide back in before removing the film holder. Jules then took another image of the entire building from one of the outlying parts, uh, as you can see here. And I personally think the image really turned out beautiful. And afterwards, I get another chance to play a little bit with the Linhof, choosing the left part of the building and the columns there. Again, doing all the necessary things, focusing, measuring the light and all that. And here's the image that I took. We then brought out the Hasselblad to shoot some Rolei Orto 25, a film characterized by its extraordinary sharpness fine grain and high contrast. Exactly what we needed for that kind of purpose. So let's take a closer look at some of the images that we took.
So we are freezing by now, it's pretty cold out here and we decided to head back to Munich. Uh, nevertheless, we really enjoyed this little stay. We took uh, six shots on medium and uh, large format with the Linhof and 12 on medium format, so only one roll of Roll Eye Orto. Um, nevertheless, nevertheless, it was a really nice trip. Um, if you enjoyed this kind of video, please let us know in the comment section below and maybe subscribe to our channel to get more videos like that. Um, uh, we hope to see you soon. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.